This is square root with written answers, analysis, and backtracking. By this point, students have already worked through the three preliminary steps several times with several different examples. So we'll just quickly go through those steps as we set up our work. Ticking off the periods. And that tells us how many digits will be in our root. We'll have units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We can look at our table of squares for six million. Our root number will be greater than 2,000 and less than 3,000. And then last, we know that our root has four digits, so we can choose our guide square. And this will help the students to build their own square. Our first step will be to take our first period, which is six million, and we will build the largest square that we can. And that will be a square of four, or two square. We have two million beads left. I'm going to put those there so that I can record my work. We have six million. We used four. And that would be a two square. We have two beads remaining. We'll exchange those. And then we'll be bringing down our hundred thousands, which is four. If we add that to the 20 beads we just exchanged, we have 24 beads. We can bring down our guide square again to see where our work will go next. We have our red arms that we're building. I know that I'll need to build my sides, that's four. So I can take the total number of beads, which is 24, and divide that by four. That would be six. If we make our rectangles going out six, we have no beads left in our cup. If we look forward at our 10,000 cup, we have two. We know that's not going to work for our next step. At this point, this is going to be our first backtrack. So if we remove two from our top arm, and two from our bottom arm, we've gone out five steps, and we can calculate that. And that means that we have used 20 beads. If we take 24 and subtract 20, we have four left. We have four beads left in our cup. So now I can exchange those four beads. Now I will bring down my 10 thousandths place, which is two. If I add that to the 40 beads I just exchanged, I have 42 10 thousand beads. If I look at my guide square to see where we're going next, we are building this square. I've built a five square. I can record that. And I've used 25 beads. So I'll subtract 25 from 42. I have 17 beads left. I pull down my guide square again. I can look and see that my blue arms are my next step. I know that my blue arms are going to be two high, two here, and two here. So I'm going to take 17 and divide that by four. And that will be four. So I should be able to build out four times. So I have one bead left. I'm going to record my work. So I have two times four is eight. I have that two times, so I've used 16 beads. And I have one left, and that's what's in my cup. So I'll exchange. 
So I'm going to bring down my guide square so we can see the next step that we'll build. We're going to be building our green rectangles or green interior arms. If we look at the board, we know that we're going to be building here, but I only have 11 beads, so I know that's not going to work. What that means is we need to, to backtrack to go back and see where we can get more beads to build our arms, and I would go up to the 10,000th place. So I'm going to cross out my work, and we had two, and we took that four times, and so we're going to try and take that three times. I'll take off two from one arm and two from the other arm. And then I'll go back and re-record my work. Two times three is six. And I have that two times, so that's 12. 17 minus 12 is five. I'm going to exchange these. I've already exchanged the other leftover 10,000 that I had previously. Okay, so now I'm going to bring down my thousands place. That will be one, and I'm adding that to the five exchanges I've made. So I have 51,000 that I can now distribute into my arms. So now I'll record my work for these rectangles. I have five times three, or 15. And I have that two times, so I've used 30 beads. And I can record that by writing 5 times 3 two times. And I have 21 beads left over. If I bring down my guide square, I know that my next step is to build these exterior arms. I know that each side will be too high. I'll need one for my top arm and one for the, the arm extending down. So I can divide my 21 beads by four, and I should be able to take each arm out five times. The students might recall that our next step is going to be building, if we look at our guide square, with the reds. So we have a square here and then on our sides. But if we look at what we have in our cups, we're not going to have enough beads. There will only be 1,100 beads after we exchange. So we know that these arms are too long. We need to go back and backtrack, and we can try two four times. If we take two from here, we also have to take two from our rectangle going down. Let's do the correction on paper. We had that we were taking two times five two times, but we're going to try it two times four two times, and that will be 16. So now we're taking 21 and we're subtracting 16. That leaves us with five. We have 5,000 beads in our cup. We'll be exchanging those. We're going to bring our guide square down. Just as a reminder, we're building our square. The students may have already predicted that we'll have a three square or a square of nine. We do have a three square, so we're going to record our work. We've used nine beads. And we'll record that we have our three square equaling nine. 51 minus 9 is 42. So we have 4,200 beads that we're going to be building our arms with. We're using 5 here and 5 here. That's 10. We're going to take 42 divided by 10. And that's going to equal about 4 times. So we should be able to go out 4 times. Okay, and I have two beads left in my cup. I'm going to record my work. I have five times four is 20, and I have that two times. So that's 40 beads that we used. And I can record that by writing five times four two times. And that equals 40. 
I have 42 minus 40 equals 2, and I have two beads left in my cup. I'll exchange 100 bead for 10 tens. And bring down our guide square. We know that we're going to be building our blue rectangles. The students can look and see that it needs to be three tall. We have three here and three here, so we'll need to use six beads. We can find out how many times we can take that by dividing 25 by six. We should be able to go out four times. We have one bead left, so we'll record our work. We have three times four, which is 12, and we have that two times, so we've used 24 beads. We can write that as three times four, two times, that equals 24. 25 minus 24 equals one, and we have one bead remaining. We can exchange our 10 bead for 10 unit beads. We can bring down our last digit, which is six units. If we add that to the 10 beads already in the cup, we have 16. The students can look and see and predict that we will, in fact, be making a four square. We've used up our beads, so we can record our work to check. We have a four square. We've used 16 beads, and we have zero beads left. We can find the answer of our square root here at the bottom. We have 2,534 along the horizontal and then also along the vertical. So the square root of 6,421,156 is 2,534.